Hey guys, it's Carrie again. Very quick tip. I was thinking um, as I was doing this, I should record it. I write a lot of user documentation as part of my job and I take a lot of screenshots and quite often when I'm only discussing a small part of the screenshot, I like to get rid of the rest of the screen but have like a soft bottom edge. So I'll use this one as an example. It's a screenshot from, um, from InDesign obviously. Um, what do I do? Well, I start by using the rec rectangular marquee tool and I create a selection, roughly the area that I want to retain eventually in my screenshot. And I make sure I see the masks panel right here and the layers panel. I'm only displaying that so that you can sort of see what happens in the layers as I'm working with the masks panel. And I start by clicking the add pixel mask button right here. So what that's done, the black area here, it's hidden all the stuff at the bottom. But I'm not quite there yet. What I really want to do is get this bottom edge to be soft. And I'm going to use mask edge for that. So I'm going to refine the mask edge. And man, it's already doing it. This is really cool. So here's what you can do with the refine mask um, dialog box. You can contract or expand the edge. So you can sort of get it just about where you want to have it. If, it, the, if the feathering is a little bit too much, Play with the feathering, make it a little bit less, and then play with the settings again until you've roughly got it where you want it to be. Click OK when you're done. And I'm just going to use my crop tool, crop the image down a bit, click OK, and that's my finished result. So it's a very quick tip, but it's something that I use quite regularly in, in my job, and I just thought I'd record it because I like it. I love the fact that it's so accessible and it's so much easier and so much quicker to do. Um, having these tools right in front of you in the masks panel. I love it. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.